What's good guys, it's your boy Tyson and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a full detail on this Ford Explorer. Um, just pulled up at the customer's house. Um, I got my buddy in the back with me, going to help me uh, clean up this car today. But they're getting ready to sell it, so they want it to look as good as possible, like brand new. And often when I do this car, they already tell me that it looks better than when they first bought it. And that's not even a full detail. So we're gonna go ahead and get everything set up. We just arrived, running a little bit late. So gonna get everything set up, uh, run through this vehicle, spin you guys around for the before and after. I may or may not do some shots of it in between or like showing you how I'm doing things. But if I do, um, then I'll figure out, you know, what I'm gonna shoot for that. But we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and get set up, talk to the customer and get everything squared away. So I'll catch you guys in a second.
was pretty dirty. Uh, had a lot of, you know, road grime, tar, and stuff like that on there. So I used the steel water in my pressure washer. 98 cents a gallon, you really can't beat that. And then I also pre-mixed some O&R in there just to give it the extra touch. So right now the panel is pressure washed. Uh, I've taken off most of the dirt that's been on there. It's just been caked up. So now I take my pre-soak. Might be a little bit overkill, but go ahead and take the pre-soak, make sure it's pumped up. And just soak up your panel. When you're working in the sun like, like this, you can really just work panel by panel. And I like to use the O&R like that and let it sit for a minute. So I have my wash bucket with two and a half gallons of water. The only reason I'm using two and a half is because whenever I measure out my car, which is a charger, I can usually run through about I say a gallon and a half uh, on my charger if I'm really trying to get at it. So better safe than sorry. Don't want to run out of water. So while that's sitting like that, and we're going to let that uh, basically soak for a minute. Miss out on it. So that sat there and soaked this. So grab your wash mitt. I got from Streamline Detailing Supplies. If you guys want to go check them out and see what kind of supplies they have, you can go on to my Instagram and uh, use the code in my bio to get you a discount, or I will just drop everything down below in the description. But you basically want to have this to where it's barely dripping, okay? And I always like to work top from bottom. A lot of people you know, they just do it as they please. So. I do have a grit guard at the bottom of this. You really can't see it. But before I go down to the bottom bottom, just want you, want you guys to know you don't have to always use a grit guard. A lot of people are going to say with this that you don't have to, but I always do just to be extra safe. O&R has a lot of lubricants in it to help keep from scratching the paint like so, but you can never be too safe in washing somebody's car. So I always use a grit guard in there. I'll let that sit like so, wipe it down and dry it. And then after we get done wiping it down and drying it, then we'll go back and hit the bottom panels because we're going to use a different bucket pocket tile for that. Like I said, I do know that a lot of people, whenever they're drying, they're gonna say, oh no, you know, you touch the car, you know, you're scratching it up and stuff like this. This is a daily driver, so I'm not too crazy about putting a towel on the car. And also what I do when I get done drying it, whenever I go back in the crevices and stuff like that, is I use my blower and I just come back and basically blow everything out of the mirrors, make sure I hold my rag at the same pace and just blow everything out and make sure all the water is out. So I mix up both of them, so I'm saving it. Some will say that it's overkill. It is what it is, you know. As long as everything looks like I want it to look, I am happy with it. So I'm gonna finish drying this panel up. Bless you. Sit this on the edge, all right? So for those of you that haven't watched any of the other videos, when using bead maker, they say go heavy on the first round. So like I say, just go heavy on the first round. I use the tile that came with it to wipe it in. Then I go back over it with another plush tile that I have over there and just basically buff everything in. Or just flip sides. Okay. And this can go on virtually anything.
so you just let that sit in there for a minute like so it's about 87 degrees out here so you don't want to let it sit too long you just take your towel already folded it into fours and you just work your bead maker in. Now mind you, we haven't cleaned the inside of the car yet. So when we bring you in and just take a look at the panel. And you can see the reflection for yourself. And like I said, we haven't cleaned the inside of the car yet, so you still see prints and stuff like that. But, try to see if you can see the difference in the panels. Hmm. But this side we haven't touched. This side we did. Went ahead and knocked it out. And you can really see it right here. When you come over here and see the dirt on that panel. So, bead maker for the win. We're going to go ahead and wrap the rest of this car up so we can get moving. And then, um... We'll bring you guys back in for the finished product. Catch you guys in a sec. Alright guys, so bringing you in for a mid-progress report. Y'all just saw us finish up the outside of the vehicle. And I myself have came in and vacuumed up everything that I could or that I'm going to touch with the vacuum because I'm about to go back over and shampoo the carpets but I just like getting a thorough vacuum in first a lot of people I do hear a lot of people say that it really doesn't matter because you're going to end up vacuuming it anyway and all of that but I'd rather not get a bunch of uh, liquid clumps of who knows what in my vacuum but I'm going to go back through and shampoo everything and wipe down the metal bars and pretty much everything else that I can get. And then we're going to touch up all of these spots that have big clumps of mud and everything on it, you know. Man down there looking smooth. Yeah, smooth clip. <laughs> but we're going to touch all of this stuff up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I've already got my pre-mixed shampoo that I'm going to foam up and get going. Got a couple of detailing brushes right there, but so far so good, man. Just wanted to bring you guys in here real quick for before and after. We had this part taped up, of course, as you can see the tape line. I'm just getting her cleaned up. I went ahead and did the uh, carpets. Everything's coming along. So we'll go ahead and get the rest of this wrapped up. Tony. Yeah. Got him. <laughs> we'll go ahead and get the rest of this wrapped up and bring you guys back in. Alright guys, we got the vehicle here finished up. I'm going to go ahead and set this up in the car and get this going. Let it run for a little bit, and then I'll bring you guys back in for a walk around around the vehicle, all right? All right, guys, so starting off at the front of the car, you can see the reflection on the hood from the bead maker and all of that stuff. Man, it looks amazing. Moving on, went ahead and shined up the tires, cleaned up the rims, got the doors taken care of. Y'all saw the before and after on the seat. Cleaned up in the interior. Glass looking crisp, except for a little crack right there. Floor mats looking nice. Big Explorer right there. And bring you back around to the middle. You know how you leave a little something different on the carpet design. Looking at all that in there. Looking nice and crisp, sunroof looking clean. Ooh. You know, we had to clean this up for him. And then, 
take you back here. Went ahead and did the carpets. I'm not gonna raise these seats back up, but we did go ahead and clean the seats just for the fact that, uh, you know, you don't wanna miss any seats in case they do end up raising them up or something like that. But also, we put the vehicle back how we found it, okay? So, went ahead and cleaned up the back. You can see my little stripes up there. Also, did a little something to the exhaust, you know. And then you come back around to the other side of the rims. Back into this clean interior. Smells good. Went ahead and did the uh, ozone treatment on it. Get rid of all of the uh, gunk and crackers and whatever else kind of food was up in there. Cleaned all of that up. And then we come back around to the front where, let's see if I can get this thing open. See, that's why I'm driving forward. I'm just gonna prop that up for me, man. Sir, thank you. Back to the engine detail that we went ahead and cleaned up. Looking nice and crisp. If I do say so myself. Not just because we were the ones doing it, but looks clean, looks crisp. Big Ford logo right there. Everything looking nice and clean. Tony, did you enjoy this, man? Yeah, it was an experience. Yeah, it was wonderful. A wonderful experience. He had to jump the car off with his truck. <laughs> you know, some people just don't know how to shift the <laughs> I don't know why you're talking about itself right like now. that, but <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and shut these again. You know, we don't want any other uh, troubles coming. You know, I had to teach them something, you know, shut doors when you get done working on stuff, man. But I think we did good. Bring the customer out, let them take a final look at it and go ahead and skedaddle. Sound good to you? Sound great to me. All right, catch you guys in a sec. So like I said, that's gonna be it for this video. I had a good time doing it with my man right here. Car looks pretty clean to me. Like I said, it took about four hours for a full detail, shampoo, carpets, um, full interior, exterior, wash, wax, uh, everything. So I enjoyed it. It's hot out here, I'm ready to go. Get some uh, cold water in my system. And um, go ahead and get home, man. Go grab me some grub or something. Appreciate this man right here, my brother Tony. I say homie, but he's still my brother. We've yes, been homies uh, for since we was like, yay big. You know, he little big brother, so you know how that go. I'm big brother. Little big brother, but you know. <laughs> uh, you want to shout out Instagram, Snapchat? Follow me on Snapchat at they got TJ T H T G U I T J. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. No, it's it. Oh, y'all want to follow you on Instagram? I'm still gonna pop it up. He don't want y'all to follow him on Instagram, but I'm still gonna pop it up so y'all can follow this man on Instagram. But like I said, man, that's gonna be it for this video. I appreciate y'all staying, uh, watching. Uh, stay tuned for further videos, more content and stuff like that, more details. This is gonna be it for the video. Signing out, my man Tony right here. Taj, check us out on Instagram. Check me out on Instagram, you know. You know. <laughs> but uh, I'll holler at y'all next time, man. Stay safe, stay clean, stay shiny, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.